It's also premature to comment on the quality and execution of the new Tiguan's interior, but we did peel back the dash camouflage curtain to inspect the centrally located 8.0-inch touchscreen abetted by a pair of knobs for infotainment volume and tuning. One of many available menu supports off-road driving with a screen that shows a compass, steering angle, pitch and roll angles, and engine oil temperature. A second electronic display between the speedometer and tachometer conveys navigation, trip, and mileage info. We had no opportunity to study them in detail beyond noticing how clear, concise, and useful these displays are. Rear and Rearmost The real center of attraction lies rearward. The Tiguan's comfortable second row of seats slides fore and aft through 7 inches of travel and offers an adjustable backrest angle. One high-mounted release lever allows tipping and sliding either the large left or the smaller right seat section for third row entry. A low-mounted fabric loop, which seems unusually chintzy for a VW, also releases the backrest while leaving the bottom cushion in place. Those expecting adult-sized accommodations comparable to the Honda Pilot, Ford Flex, and Buick Enclave three-row crossovers will be deeply disappointed by the Tiguan, which lies just above the Mitsubishi Outlander in terms of wheelbase and overall length. While someone of normal stature can get to the rearmost seat and find sufficient legroom, griping will ensue when heads rub the ceiling, and the exit maneuver borders on Olympic gymnastics. Those families without little ones can skip the steerage class third row seats altogether, saving a few dollars and pounds. VW cites a 44% increase in cargo space over the outgoing Tiguan, although the precise details of how storage volume grows when seats are successively folded won't be revealed for some time.